So uh, Marquis, we're here in uh, Tel Aviv uh, with the beautiful background behind us. Uh, you're, re you're running a MyTQ, uh, so uh, what is it? MyTQ is a platform that uh, is planning to become the trust authority for the sharing economy. Uh, the sharing economy and collaborative economy is based on trust. So we want to work with the platforms like Airbnb, for example, and create more trust on the platform and in general on the sharing economy. Okay, but there are already trust systems on the platform. So, so, so what value does your solution uh, add to the existing uh, thank, solutions? Thank you for raising this uh, interesting part. Based on a 2015, 2015 PricewaterhouseCoopers report, 69% of people don't trust the platforms and the sharing economy, um, which for us is an, um, like a tremendous um, number, a figure. And because of that, we are planning to, w we realize that, okay, what we do actually makes sense because when people are saying we don't really trust them, and those are the people that they are not part of the sharing economy, obviously. Um, it, it, it shows us that what we are trying to do, it makes sense. There is an audience out there. Um, we all know, all, all of us, we are, I'm involved in the sharing economy since 2011. All, all of us know that if there is no trust on the system, the system will collapse. So yes, the early adopters, by definition, they trust what they see. They, they, don't, they don't have such high expectations when it comes to trust. They, they, they go in and they try it. And if they have experience only then, they, you know, they quit. But the great majority of people, in order to ride the sharing economy um, ecosystem, th th they need a lot more than what it is there today. Okay, and this so is where uh, we come in. Okay, so what you say, okay, the, the only way that the sharing economy can grow to its full potential is where we're going to solve the trust problem. Uh, absolutely. If it's not for trust, why would you buy something, I don't know, a camera from someone in China that the only thing you know is that he, a username? Yeah. Uh, if you don't trust that you will pay the money and they, you will receive the camera exactly as you want it, then you will never buy that. So if you don't buy, then e sites like eBay, they will stop working. And yeah. uh, as we know, eBay is a giant. So of course, ba everything is happening based on trust. And, and, and where does your, your, your connection with the sharing economy comes from? And also, uh, where did you get your idea? Uh, of this initiative? In, in, since 2011, I'm an active host on Airbnb. Um, back then, where Airbnb, Airbnb wasn't so famous, um, the, we saw with a friend of mine on Bloomberg that they raised 120 million for marketing. And that raised the flag for us, saying, okay, we need to understand what these guys are doing if they manage to raise so much money. So we learned about Airbnb, we started renting apartments, um, so that, that was my introduction to the, the sharing economy through the Airbnb platform. Uh, as a host, I experienced several trust issues. First of all, I had to rebuild my reputation every time I was changing a platform. Um, and then going forward, I realized that I don't know a lot of things about my guests. So, and my guests obviously don't know a lot of things about me unless they go and read all my reviews and everything. And again, most of my reviews were talking more about the place and less about uh, me as a person, simply because there was no, you know, there were no problems, so the interaction was minimum. Um, so I just had an idea that if I can, comp if I can comp uh, create a, a trust mm. profile for the people, and this will be like an add-on with the with the platforms then we will be able, the whole sharing economy ecosystem, not only the platform, to share very vital um, information about each and every one of the um, users on the sharing economy. Okay, and, 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 and then what is then the, the, the solution that, that you built? Can you say more about that? Sure, uh, we are building a profile. Uh, each user is creating a profile where he is able to link um, all his profiles on the uh, different platforms like Airbnb, House Trip, Wimdo. We, we are covering five different categories right now, simply because when we started the startup, the whole sharing economy was in six categories. Um, so we cover transportation, which is Lyft, Uber, Relay Rides, and blah, blah, car. Uh, we cover um, 
um, rental, which is Airbnb, we do house trip. Uh, we cover platforms like freelancers, for freelancers, like people per hour, um, Upworks. And we, we cover also money-related startups. And the fifth and last category is um, start, um, companies like eBay and Etsy. Yeah. That, that <coughs> they, they, they sell products. Yeah. And you said uh, uh, there are six categories. So, so, so what category the, the are you sixth one was uh, was related with food at the time. People that are cooking in their place or somewhere, and you leave reviews and stuff. We didn't want to go that road, so we said, okay, for now we will focus on those five main categories. So each user has a profile. Uh, on every different category from those that I mentioned, he gets a score. Um, so we don't produce one score for someone who's active on those five uh, categories. He, uh, in a way, he will have five different scores because uh, trust requires context, meaning you're very good as a host, for example, but you're a horrible driver. If I combine those two into a number, it, will, it, it won't be accurate as because you're, let, let's say, 150 just for simplicity reasons. So if I give you a 75%, that means that you're not a 75% host because you're 100 and you're not a 75% driver yeah. because you're 50. Yeah. So we said that every category will have its own, uh, its own score. This score uh, consists of all the reviews that you got from the different platforms. And uh, one more thing that we put on the user profile, uh, our, character, our personality and behavior characteristics that we collect from the users that they interacted on the platforms that we monitor. And how do you collect them? Um, we, will, we will collect them uh, uh, with an API. We want to have an API with all these platforms to get public data from them in order to be able to verify and get the data directly because the way we do it now, which is only for uh, the test purposes of our solution, we're doing scrapers. but. This is not the this is not the way. Like yes. it, uh, the, mm -hmm. the scraper is only for the MVP. That the, this is it. That's how it looks like, and uh, it's working. So we've done this part. But in order to go forward, we need only API calls again for the public data. Nothing more than that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very uh, also very interesting that you are using different cat uh, categories because uh, what you say uh, when you're a good Airbnb host, you could maybe be a terrible driver. So. So, but, but in the end, there's the, the more uh, 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 trust and, and reputation issues uh, uh, in the different categories. But in the end, how you are as a human being, like how you are as a host, probably uh, you will be a, a, the same kind of host when you're uh, renting out your car than when you're renting out your apartment. A and we also took that one step further, meaning that as a host, I'm measuring those like 10 characteristics that may, that your guests, for example, are looking at. And as a driver, we are looking for 10 different characteristics. Of course, some of them might, might, be, might be the same, that your passengers will look for you. So at the end of the day, even if you are a bad driver, let's say, or a bad host, you, you will have a profile saying that, OK, I don't drive that well, but I'm trustworthy. I don't, I'm not a, such a good host because my apartment maybe is not clean properly or whatever, but I always make the extra mile. So when there is a problem, you can count on me that I will solve the problem. Um, based on what I've seen, there are two categories of hosts, the, the good and the bad. What differentiates the good from the bad? The, the good hosts are always making the extra mile when it comes to problems. So when the problem arises, how do you deal with this problem? you just ignore them and you say, yeah, we look into it or I'm trying to put the blame on you or I take all the blame trying to solve the problem for you. Um, and this is something that we want to be able to measure somehow on our profile. This is the main issue that we're trying to, to solve, that people that are drawing the extra mile when is needed, so they are more trustworthy, they, it will be reflected somewhere. Yeah. And not yeah. only on the reviews, because the more reviews you have, people are going to read only the last three, four, five reviews. That's it. Yeah. But if you have done that like a year ago, it's like never happened. Yeah. Yeah. Also the good and the bad ones, obviously. Yeah. And, and, and I really understand the, 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 
uh, four or five uh, because the, they're really uh, I, I can imagine good how you can say okay uh, you're a good or a bad uh, host or uh, demand supply uh, whatever <coughs> but the, but uh, when you look at the money parts uh, is this also related to crowdfunding or, or, or uh, the, yeah, the, ca in the, my the category in in my view because I like to see like you know the big picture it, it applies to everything I used to say, and people used to love with that, that it can also be applied to um, applications like Tinder, where people are looking for a more uh, trustworthy person to go out with, so it won't be like a one-night stand or just waste of time. They could use, in a way, uh, the profile that we're building. We are far from that, of course, but I'm just saying that th this could be a very, very big, uh, very big market and with a lot of... Uh, um, platforms using information from that uh, from ITQ yeah so when you say okay we want to be a global trust brand uh, then you can apply this on many many different kind of platforms not only sharing economy but also I would say tinder but also maybe even when you want to uh, uh, to have a new insurance or where you uh, want to have a mortgage um, the you start the smiling so the I think the I'm in, in, in the right direction the, the, <laughs> the insurance actually is very interesting because we are we are looking into it we we have indications from the web uh, that there are companies that are we that are trying to find ways to ensure the sharing economy transactions. So when you travel as a passenger on my car, right now, if I understood correct from what I read, because I'm not a, a, an expert in this area, uh, you are not insured because you are not, you know, member of the family or whatever. So now they're trying to find ways to ensure the people that they're using Uber and all these uh, platforms, also Airbnb. Um, and my TQ, uh, I'm not from, again, the little that I know about insurances, has to do with the, the risk that they have to take uh, on you. So my TQ can be like an indication of risk for the insurance companies. You see this guy, he's been like, 100 times as a passenger everybody's giving them very good reviews this is his profile as a passenger or as a host or whatever so the possibilities that you will have a problem with this guy are small which means that the premium that you will have to charge the company for this specific user is smaller than someone else who has created problems in the past or mm -hmm. or whatever yeah. and i think this is something that they need i'm, I'm just trying to find the the right contacts because as you already know, everybody is super busy with their own idea. Um, I'm trying to find the right context to just pass the message that guys, maybe we should, in order to increase your revenues, in order to increase the global sharing economy, which I believe and I'm a, a huge evangelist of it, maybe we should stop a little bit on, on uh, acting on an individual basis and try to create a more stable basis for the sharing economy and of course trust is the only basis as i said 69 percent of people don't trust us yeah. so yeah. we need to do something with this 69 percent yeah but i think uh, if you look at your target group uh, of course we're now uh, many platforms are really focusing on the more developed countries but i think uh, when you look at trust um, maybe even more interesting uh, uh, area will be the the, the, le the less developed countries because i talked to a guy uh, who is running a platform in, in, in India with uh, auto uh, rickshaws. He, uh, he is also a, a, a really big foundation right now. Um, and uh, over there, <coughs> there isn't any background on people uh, uh, about trust. So when they're hiring new drivers, so, so they're the Uber for auto rickshaws and they're over, they already got about 800,000 customers so they're in, 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 in 11 months. Mm -hmm. So they're <laughs> growing quite fast. But uh, the new drivers they are uh, adding to the platform, they uh, have a really extensive social check. So they're going to talk to people around them because there are no things we are in more developed countries have that we just can, can check. Okay, just bring your uh, this this kind of papers with you. Uh, let me give you an example that happened, uh, I think, three months ago on Airbnb on a developed country. Someone rented an apartment. Uh, the the reason, if I remember correct, was uh, that he was attending a wedding. Um, but this guy had organized an orgy of 100 people. So people with buses were coming into the rented uh, apartment. Of course, when they left, the apartment was like destroyed completely. And that happened on a yeah. developed country. Yeah. The question is, who is the guy who created all this? Nobody knows. Uh, how can we make sure that this guy will not 
create another profile or he will not go through he will not use another platform to do exactly the same we don't know yeah. and if mm -hmm. a lot of incidents like this happen not only on one platform but in many that means that people will lose trust on the sharing economy it was a very nice we, w we will be talking about the sharing economy bubble yeah that it was a nice thing to have but because we couldn't really trust each other or we didn't build the base a strong basis for it 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 just had to end yeah but isn't that isn't it then not only about trust reputation but also about the check of the identity because now <coughs> it, it everybody with facebook accounts can can log in um and especially also uh, what say uh, also wi uh, uh, with uh, with uh, with my tq uh, uh, when you connect many platforms then the, 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 then then the chance of somebody is that he's saying is uh, uh, is getting bigger but but there uh, there's never a really physical check with idea true uh, one of the offerings that we have on our proposal to the platforms is to take care of uh, the the id verification as well uh, so everything that has to do with the person the person the behavior his personality his id everything around him will be coming from us so airbnb and uber and all the other platforms will focus on what they do mm -hmm. and we will bring into the picture uh, all the the elements that they need in order uh, to trust those users yeah and and, and who's who's your customer so so who's your most important customer uh, we are a bit to we are a bit to b to c so the way i see it our m my, my dream customer right now is airbnb i'm emotionally involved with them since i'm there for more than five years and um, they are the pioneers of what we know as a sharing economy when they started nobody even believed that th th there is a chance of this thing working and now pretty much everybody i know stayed uh, on one uh, uh, airbnb apartment so we would like to cooperate with them and we believe that if we have one platform like airbnb or uber or blah blah car like one of the unicorns the rest will follow we will prove what we can do we will prove our added value and we will and going forward we, uh, we will be able to ensure the the sharing economy ecosystem yeah so you have a really top-down approach so you really want to uh, work together with the platforms is there also a bottom-up approach possible where you say okay the platforms they uh, they won't listen so we're going to <coughs> uh, to, uh, uh, to do marketing for the users and then use the force platforms to to work together with you um the the cost for the user like to the the acquisition cost <coughs> for the user is so high that it doesn't make sense for us to do that okay we don't have funding and even if we had i don't think that we would use it for this purpose um simply because it's a lot a lot a lot of money with a big question mark at the end that if this user that he created this mighty profile is going to use it or how active he is on the on the sharing economy and on the platforms etc yeah okay Th Clear. there are many yeah I, I think i would have spent it on uh, creating uh, a better software creating a better algorithm if you want to to calculate the the scores rather than focusing on uh, individual users okay so so so, th so that's a really a a, a a clear approach but also like uh, because you say okay well, we don't have investors so so you're now funding the, the initiative yourself yeah really yes. good and, and 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 how many people are are, are working uh, right now we are two because we just uh, created the way we finished creating the platform and now we are looking for um, clients like airbnb blah blah car uber to work with us and based on the cooperation we will have with them uh, we will know you know we need five more developers in order to cope with airbnb we will go hire five more developers we need the marketing we will but we will play it by ear like i feel that there is no point for me right now investing more money into hiring people uh, my focus is to create contact with these people like airbnb mm -hmm. blah blah car listen to our proposal i'm also looking into insurance companies as i said we we can be uh, very helpful to them uh, so this is this is what we do now we we focus on creating contacts with the players involved 
Okay, so, so, uh, so you're going to expand the team <coughs> on the, the subjects that, that you'll need. It, we are working around. on the on-demand economy. That's another name for the sharing economy. So on an on-demand economy, <laughs> we have a platform of an on-demand economy, and we will create our team on demand. Yeah. So whatever yeah. is <coughs> needed, um, we will do it. And what do you think about the future model of platforms? Because uh, when you look at sharing economy or the on-demand economy or just collaborative economy, there are so many beautiful names for it. <laughs> uh, <coughs> many times, except Airbnb, but most platforms, especially when you look at uh, in transportation, uh, the transaction is local. Uh, so when you look at the car sharing platform, uh, it's, it's great that they want to be a world leader. Uh, but in the end, uh, when I'm uh, at my house in Utrecht and I want to share a car, I'm not going to cycle for more than five minutes to get my shared car. <coughs> okay. uh, if you look at, okay, what value do platforms add uh, uh, for the customers? It's, it's, it's uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 check of the idea. Uh, and, and, and if you don't get a criminal record, it's the, the, uh <coughs> the, the insurance with car sharing, that, 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 you, that your car is insured. It's the software, the platform, <coughs> and it's the critical mass. Mm -hmm. But I guess because they're now uh, 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 quite an issue who are working with the uh, uh, ID check, but also uh, on a trust issue. Uh, the insurance will go not uh, exclusively be on platforms, but uh, to the customers, because uh, the, 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 the chance of, of, of fraud is really big uh, when the insurance is only with the platforms. And the software, like with, uh, how do you call it, in um, um, Finland's uh, share tribe, is, all, is also almost getting for free. So, 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 so what do you think will be uh, this imp uh, what implication will this have on the future of these kind of platforms when many of their unique added values are getting away or the cost is, uh, is getting this low that people can also organize themselves? Do, do, do you believe this will change? I didn't understand the question. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was exactly the question? What's the future of? Of, 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 of the, the business model of platforms uh, because uh, like if there are going to be five Airbnbs on the rental and uh, three on the transportation, yeah, or, uh, or it's going to be only <coughs> one for each category. Yeah, mm -hmm. or um, many local platforms, because in the end, um, the transaction uh, is, 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 is most of the time is local. Uh, so when I want a shared car, I, I only want a, ah, okay. a local shared car. Uh, and if you see what the platform adds uh, for a value, it's, 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 it's the insurance but the insurance is now uh, okay. actually for platforms, but I, I, I'm talking also to insurance that, that, that will be in one or two or three years uh, to, the to, the, to the individual. Uh, uh, the, the software uh, will be almost for free. It's a good uh, no share type. So it's really easy to start more uh, local communities with really low costs. Uh, yes, I know. Okay, understood. Okay. So, uh, uh, can I uh, rephrase the question? Understood. Uh, uh, I will ask a question and then, uh, and then you can give the answer. Sure. So when you look at the future of platforms, what, what do you think about it? Because if you look at the, the transactions of the platforms, uh, many times they are local. Uh, and also the cost of, of, of organizing a platform in, in software, in insurance, in trusts, will be lower and lower. So the advantages of being a global player, I think, will be less and less uh, uh, more benefits in the future. How do you see that? First of all, there are more well-educated people than me, more involved than me, uh, having a more spherical view about the things that they can, you can take their word for it. My, from what I read and what I know, actually this sharing economy has also changed big companies like Ford, like Coca-Cola, uh, like BMW. All of a sudden you see that in the United States, if I'm not mistaken, you can rent a BMW. Like you can rent your Uber, you go, you unlock the car, you take your BMW, you go wherever you want, and you just return it back. So you see that all the old-fashioned business models, because of the sharing economy, are changing. Um, as I said, I'm not an expert to tell you how it's going to become. I have absolutely no idea. But what I can definitely uh, vouch for is that whatever is going to happen, the basis for this is going to be trust. Either it will be Mighty Q, E-rated, Traity, Karma, you name it. Trust Cloud even uh, was earlier than us in the, in the picture. Uh, but the basis will always be trust. And I think that there is place in, on that area for only one startup. It, it cannot be that you have a 
60% mighty Q and 75% uh, rust cloud, but on irrated you are 90 and on half karma you are 95. So, you know, you can play with it. It's going to be only one player, the one who managed to survive, the one who will have a better um, proposal to make to the platform. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, I really believe in that. And, 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 and when you look at the trust in MyTQ itself, because um, I'm linking many platforms to my profile, uh, so uh, I really need to trust that my, 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 my passwords, my everything, is, is You don't have to. passwords with MyTQ, we don't store anything. That's why we need the APIs. So in order to connect your Airbnb account, your Uber account, all you will have to do is you go on Uber website, you put your username and password, and then we just receive an, a notification, an, an email um, from Uber saying that this guy is verified by us. So this is his account, and we are able to collect the data that uh, they are assigned to this account. That's mm. all. Okay. I'm not, we are not, uh, there are platforms, I don't want to go into details obviously, that uh, because they are competitors and they are not sitting here in order to have a proper conversation, uh, that they are asking for your username and password into, let's say, Airbnb or your blah blah car in order for them to verify that this is your account, which is absolutely wrong. Like, mm. w w we would never do it. We'd, we are ready to close everything and just put it, you know, yeah. on, the, on the closet as an idea that we had, but it didn't work, rather than asking for people to give us the... Uh, username and password on any platform yeah that's why we need the apis anyhow yeah 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 okay so 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 so, so you're really just making the the, the, the connection and not, not getting the data exactly out of it i, I just <coughs> I, i'm just getting a confirmation from the platform saying the guy who just registered this is his account on my side and this is the data that i'm sending you which yeah. is the public data yeah that's how we verify that this is you because if we don't have an api then the, the way we found out and uh, other competitors of ours found out how to do it was to put a specific string like it, it can be a sentence it can be something on your on somewhere inside this page link this page and all of a sudden it becomes too complicated for the end user just to link his airbnb account yeah. or just one of his accounts uh, with you so they couldn't care less that's why we need the apis that's why we need to collaborate with uh, the big players and that's yeah. uh, that's what we are working on right now so now your biggest challenge is to get one of the big players on board yeah uh, so you can just prove what you can do and what the value is and from there you can grow absolutely i think that if we have one player i'm very confident in uh, on my partner who's the developer of it that we will be able to get all of them okay it's it's a matter of just get the first one and then we will prove what we can do and uh just get the first uh, your first fish and then the rest will follow exactly okay cool so it sounds really good i'm really looking forward to what uh, your next steps are and i wish you uh, all the luck uh, thanks for the interview thank you very much thanks a lot.